Hello and welcome to today's episode of Customs Duty. On today's episode, the Nigeria Customs Service gets assurance of continuous support and collaboration as the Comptroller General of Customs visits the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barry Stenyesom Wiki. Also on today's episode, the Comptroller General of Customs emphasizes commitment to strengthening collaboration with Presidential Amnesty Program, other relevant agencies for a more prosperous Nigeria. We also bring you the Customs Hub segment where we get you informed on imports and excise duties collection activities for the week. Welcome, my name is Jamila Suleiman. The Customs Duty crew wholeheartedly congratulates Bashir Adewale Adini, MFR, on a well-deserved confirmation as the Comptroller General of Customs. Your extensive experience and unwavering commitments to excellence has paved the way for this significant appointment. In the face of the challenges ahead, we do not doubt that your leadership will bring about the transformation and progress the Nigeria Customs Service needs. Your past achievements have demonstrated your capability to steer the Nigeria Customs Service towards success. Here's to your continued strive to bring change, to fulfill the mandates vested upon you, and to bring about a brighter future for the Nigeria Customs Service under your esteemed leadership. As stakeholders and supporters, we pledge our unwavering support to your vision and objectives. Let us collaborate to make a difference and ensure a prosperous future for our nation. The Comptroller General of Customs, Bashir Adiwali Adini, MFR, along with members of his management team, visits the Minister of Federal Capital Territory in the spirit of the service's usual openness to synergy, aimed at enhancing better service delivery to the nation. While conveying his sincere wishes that the FCT Minister continues with his track record of performance as he steers the ship at the Federal Capital Territory, Bashir Adini expresses confidence at that. We believe that uh, you will leave this office with those records. We believe that uh, we are going to see transparency. We're going to see integrity. And uh, we believe that Nigerians will be very, very correct to look forward to see an FCT uh, that is smart, an Abuja city that we'll be proud of as Nigerians and as Africans. So we want to really uh, wish you uh, the best of luck uh, as you start this uh, journey, of course. Uh, alongside uh, the Honorable Minister of State and uh, the officers who would be assisting you to drive this vision. He notes that the Nigeria Customs Service is a stakeholder in the FCT, owing to its level of representation, making reference to the location of the headquarters of the service, the FCT Area Command of the Service, and the Nigeria Customs Hospital, Karu, among others, within the Federal Capital Territory activities of which are run by officers and men numbering over 2,500 that work and live in the Federal Capital Territory along with their family, hence a request. These 2,500 officers that I talked about who work and live in FCT also come with their families. Uh, most of the time, uh, what we do is that they put their kids in schools around the FCT. And, uh, we all know that uh, schools around the FCT, particularly those ones uh, uh, that are private, you know, it, it creates a lot of pressure for our officers to keep their kids in these schools. Uh, a good number of them do not have enough access to public school, but we need education for our kids. We need very good medical provisions for them, and we are working with appropriate agencies in the FCT to ensure this is done. But Your Excellency, uh, the customs would want to contribute our own quota to educational development in the FCT by owning, owning our own school, uh, both for primary and for secondary school. Uh, and one of the things that we would request uh, as a valuable stakeholder and government and a strategic, strategic partner for that would be the provision of adequate land for us so that you know we will be able to build effectively, put up uh, facilities to provide secondary, primary and secondary education uh, for, our, uh, for our families. Uh, we, we, we have, uh, we're trying to build uh, 
an international conference center. And uh, we also have that application. We had already written one or two letters to request uh, a reminder and a follow-up uh, to that. Responding, Barasai Somwiki assures the Comptroller General of Customs of his administration's readiness to allocate the land requested to the Nigeria Customs Service for the purpose put forward. Schools very important. It's not only our children that go to those schools. Our own children, or our most own children, will go to those schools. My policy now, before I approve land to any agency, that they will commit, that will develop this land within a certain number of years. If it is not developed, the government, the, the FCT should take back their land. Yes, I should. I'm going to approve the land for you for school. The general council is here, the legal uh, advisor is there. They have to put themselves uh, together. You bring the application, I've signed it, and give to the director of lands. They make sure, land secretary, make sure that they give you a land that you can use. He again reiterates commitment to supporting the service, especially owing to the service's contribution to the nation's economic development. You have a lot of room to play. Part of the sharing of the fair allocation, you contribute. And if you don't make uh, so much impact, it will uh, reflect on our publication. So we'll do everything possible to see that we support the customs services yes. to achieve their uh, aims and objectives. At the end of the day, material need hope agenda of Mr. President. Now, and also thank you for the few months you have stayed. I can see the uh, how effective and how functional. Thank you. I have not said that it cannot be functional, but at least you can see more actions taking the yes, I commend your team on um, the issues continue to support you. Indeed. This is yet another mark of fruitful relationship that is expected to wax stronger, which the Nigeria Custom Service cherishes. Present this uh, little token as a mark and symbol of uh, collaboration and gratitude for the support and guidance you are giving us. And in our landlord, that we are all well pleased. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. The doors of the Nigeria Custom Service remain open to meaningful collaboration, an advantage of which a delegation from Presidential Amnesty Program, led by its Chief Executive, Major General Barry Ndiomu, retired, has taken, and the leader of the delegation considers it right to put forward certain requests to the service. The people of the Niger Delta have complained several various forms of deprivations over the years, from employment, and to so many other social welfare issues that have not been addressed. And so when I came, even with your predecessor, one of the demands I laid to him was on the issue of recruitment into the customs. Because, you see, the boys complain that even when they apply, they, they are never given the opportunity. It's always a difficult process for them. We also see the need by virtue of the nature of our job, we have to keep going from place to place across the Niger Delta. And I know you are very familiar with the terrain. It's not that easy. And so we also made a passionate appeal for vehicles that we can afford to pay for by virtue of the very lean resources at our disposal as, as an agency. And I hope and pray that this time around will find favor with the leadership. In response to the request for consideration of the Niger Delta youths in recruitment into the service, the Comptroller General of Customs Bashir Adewali Adini assures of fairness at all times. Uh, we are committed to remaining an equal opportunity employer of labor for all Nigerians irrespective of uh, uh, where they come from. And uh, one of the best ways to do this is to ensure that we have representation 
uh, from all the local governments areas of Nigeria. Uh, we do this because we actually have specific places in Nigeria that we also think that by nature of our mandate, we should uh, accommodate. If you talked about border areas in Nigeria, uh, we have a statutory uh, mandate, obligation, to have very good working relationship with these people. Uh, but these areas, we just count them because at least every border area in Nigeria fall under one local government area. So we will still want to stick to the principle of uh, federal character uh, to ensure that there is some kind of representation. And once we move away from that, uh, you know, we are likely going to have a situation that we are trying to prevent, agitation. Bashir Adini stresses that the presidential amnesty program remains a critical stakeholder in peace building, not only at the Niger Delta region, but also in the entire country. Hence, his commendation for the activities the program carries out. He, however, requests that the program can go extra mile. Thus, he tasks the members. I would like to seek that the program should take it upon itself to help us in generating more of early warning signs uh, that could disrupt uh, peace, that could uh, create uh, problems, particularly for agencies of government that are working uh, in Niger Delta. We request uh, that we can collaborate in this area and if there are some signals, some intelligence uh, that will avail us, uh, we will appreciate. The Comptroller General of Customs pledges more commitments to readiness to render in support to the presidential amnesty program as much as possible. The readiness of the Nigeria Customs Service to partner relevant agencies in moving the nation forward through enhancement of its service delivery to the nation has continued to attract attention and willingness to synergize for good. One such agency that offers to partner the service is the United Nations Habitat, a United Kingdom-based non-governmental organization. In line with the Renew Hope agenda of the present Bola Amit Tinubu, the United Nations Habitat and the youth of this country, Nigeria, will partner with Nigerian Customs Service in three areas. In the area of uh, smuggling, youth are the perpetrators. We will be going to the 36 states of the Federation campaigning and I will discourage every youth. I will tell them the risk of smuggling. I am not fighting smugglers, but I'm discouraging the minds of the youth from smuggling. In this, we'll be touching the markets, the uh, institution, the, the, the worship places, the media space, the border town and the villages which we will work hard to make sure we discourage the minds of the youth in this. The second part that will partner with Nigerian Customs Service is in area of training. We'll be training 50 officers of Nigerian Customs Service in digital literacy skills. The last and never the least, the certification to this training Will, will be coming all the way from the United Kingdom, a university that is satisfied on that. In his response, the Acting Comptroller General of Customs, Bashir Adiwali Adini, MFR, underscores the importance of this offer of partnership to the Nigeria Customs Service, while highlighting areas the service has achieved a milestone and also notes their readiness to improve further. We value partnerships and I'm very happy that you are extending these hands of partnership across to us and we will be willing to uh, accept to work with you. We do have a very uh, efficient, well-structured cybersecurity unit because we do know that this is a very important aspect uh, of our operations that we must uh, take, you know, very, very important. It's no longer enough for us to set up uh, checkpoints uh, to start pursuing smugglers all over the places. Uh, we do know that uh, these criminals are not resting in their hours in terms of how 
they are moving a step ahead of security to perpetrate their crimes. And we do know that we now have to also step up our games and uh, acquire these uh, uh, skills to be able to cope with the kind of uh, danger that they pose, not only for us, but also for our national security. So I appreciate uh, your offer and uh, uh, whatever you need, whatever we need to do to take advantage of uh, your training programs, we will evaluate it, uh, we will determine relevance to our situations and then we can have a conversation regarding how we can go about taking advantage of it. Uh, in terms of digital literacy skills that you are also proposing, uh, I can assure you that you know you can hardly get anything when you preach to the converted. We understand the importance of digital literacy, and uh, we will be willing to expose our officers uh, to this uh, as as much as we can, and uh, no effort will be spared in. Uh, getting our officers uh, very, very uh, well equipped to cope with the, uh, with the task. He proffers more eras the campaign by the United Nations Habitat should cover as he pledges commitment. Let me promise that the relevant departments within the customs would be willing, uh, will allow them to work out the details of these beautiful plans that you have uh, either in terms of the travels to the 36 states, uh, I would like you to have FCT so that the FCT people will not uh, be left alone, uh, so that they will fully understand uh, the evils of smuggling and they will begin to build their uh, awareness about what danger smuggling constitutes to us. Uh, as we do that, I will charge you, let your campaign also include the fact that we must now begin to also produce for export. Depending on who you are talking with, our attempt to save the Naira must start from local production of what we need in Nigeria. We will open our doors, we will be willing to work uh, with any of your designated officials to ensure that we achieve the objective and the mandates of your organization. This is again a display of open arms of the Nigeria Customs Service to embrace genuine synergy for the good of the nation. The need to build positive relationship with host communities and stakeholders is taken seriously by Comptroller Mohammed Umar, Customs Area Controller of Katsina Command. Therefore, as he resumes the leadership of the command recently, he has found it worthy to pay a courtesy visit to the governor of Katsina State, Malam Umaru Diko Radda, at the Katsina State Government House, where he assures of diligent service delivery by operatives of his command. In the castle, as part of the security architecture, we we'll do our best to make sure the, the, this is sustained, the temple. I have visited all the security heads. First, I did army, police, uh, immigration, prison, all the people. This is in the spirit of collaboration, synergy, and cooperation. So we have to up our game to make sure that we attack this Gankao um, narcotic trade and close our border. I also like down uh, trading and smuggling too. Is we are going to heighten the activities of our officers and make sure that uh, we reduce it to the barest minimum. Do our best to make sure that uh, Katsina State is peaceful for economic development. We are here at any time, Your Excellency. You can call on us and we'll be there. Responding, Governor Radda acknowledges the contribution of the Nigeria Customs Service to sustenance of the nation's economy, among other contributions. I had a very good and cordial relationship with the Nigeria Customs since time before now. And uh, we want to, we believe that with our coming, it will solidify on that existing relationship in the state. 
And as you rightly mentioned, you are part of the security architecture of the state. And your contribution to the security of lives of properties in the state cannot be overemphasized, especially in the area of border patrol, ensuring that we reduce the inflow of drugs and narcotics into our country, as well as uh, reducing the uh, arms movement within our borders, uh, as well as uh, generating more revenue to share to state, local government and the federation. A general custom recently has been one of the major pillars of contributing to the national kick when it comes to revenue generation. And uh, we thank you very much for that. He assures of commitment of the Katsina State Government to sustaining its existing cordial relationship with customs, while pledging continuous support. We are supposed to be partners in progress, and uh, we should be able to support you in discharging your responsibilities. So I want to assure you that the Katsina State Government will give you all the necessary cooperation and support to allow you to function. And I'm a very friendly governor to the Nigerian custom. Let it be on record. And then uh, we also want to continue this working relationship. And I believe you are a game changer. And the game has started changing in a positive direction. And count on our cooperation and support to achieve your mandate. And the whole of the Nigerian custom officers in Kazuma State, we will make sure that our working relationship improve as much. This visit by Comptroller Mohammed Umar and other such visits are expected to enhance custom stakeholder relations in the Katsina Command's areas of responsibility, hence improving compliance, eventual economic growth, and improved security as operatives carry out their duties professionally. In recognition of the importance of custom stakeholder policy relationship, which is usually achieved through regular engagements and regular consultations, Customs Area Controller Oyo Oshun Command, Comptroller Ben Uramalugu, has visited the Ulubadon of Ibadan land. His Imperial Majesty Oba Mosud Olaleko Balugu. In his remarks, the Customs Area Controller highlights some basic functions of the Nigeria Customs Service. Our mission is important. This is just among other functions that is transportation of trade because it's only when there is trade that poverty will be reduced. When there is war, trade cannot go on. When there is no peace, there is no trade. And when there is trade, poverty will be reduced. And another mission of customs is to raise this group for the Nigerian states. In all parts of the world, because the customs have played a very noble role in making sure that everything is raised. So over the years, Koto has played a very good role of raising revenue. Then the last but not the least, the the least is active smuggling activities. So the that is crime. So one of the functions of Nigerian customs is to make sure that these of custom goods, these dangerous goods don't come into Nigeria. And this is one of our jobs. So we are here to safeguard the bank, to safeguard our York, and to safeguard our shoe. He discloses the aim of his visit to the royal father. That is, I'm here to pay for your protection. So that this constant conflict between the indigenous and customs will be a thing of the past. I don't want any of my watch to see customs killing any of the indigenous members or any person in my watch. We want peace. We want trade to go up. We want poverty to be reduced. We want uh, all those of customs to sweep us, drop stop communicating to oil, because it's drugs that is thrown inside. To the level of drugs we have in the Nigeria, we have no future. So it is my also job to make sure that no dangerous drugs don't come in into, the, uh, into oil and ocean. Acknowledging the renewed synergy which Comptroller Rama Lugu comes with, the Royal Father assures the Customs Era Controller and the entire operatives of Oyo Oshun Command 
of the desired cooperation and support for effective performance, actions he is optimistic that the entire host community stands to benefit from. Hello and welcome to the segment Customs Hub on Customs Duty. This is a segment that summarizes some of the activities of the Nigeria Customs Service regarding weekly revenue generation and other related matters. We take a look at the total number of pre-arrival assessment reports issued and revenue collected from Friday 13th of October to Thursday 19th of October 2023. The total amount of pre-arrival assessment reports also known as per issued for the week amounts to 5,870. The Nigeria Customs Service also generated 107 billion 971 million 843,006 naira, 54 kobo in revenue for the week. In another development, the Nigeria Customs Service collected the sum of 6 billion 609 million 394,160 naira, 54 kobo from excise duty. That is all for this segment of Customs Hub. That is all on today's episode of Customs Duty. Remember to follow all our social media handles currently being displayed on your screen. You can also visit us on www.customs.gov.ng for more information about the service. Till next time, I am Jamila Suleiman. <laughs>